Hello, everybody! Welcome to the new LP of WizWorld 100. Today, we're going to be playing a game that I've been hunting for a long, long time. Not quite for a millennia or anything, but just recently. Are those spiders on the ground? No, those are just palm trees. But they look like face huggers. It's Tom Mason's Dinosaurs for Hire. I remember, I remember playing this game as a kid at a dentist's office on a dentist, and this game looked so cool. So, are we going to have some plot? No, there's no plot. But yeah, this is the game that I'm going to be playing. There's two players. It kind of plays like a Contra game. Easy apparently gives you no ending. Hard is, well, really tough. So we're going to play on normal. I'm going to give myself a lot of continues because I have not played I have not played this game for the longest time. Even when I uh, got it. I think this will do. I'll uh, hopefully don't have to change it. So let's start this. We get to pick a bunch of different, or three different characters. Right here we have Archie. He's a T-Rex. Normally should be pretty cool, but he looks kind of dumb. And you get all this info about him, like the comic that passed food. Kind of has a somewhat Streets of Rage, but more. Last book read Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. Hmm. Interesting. Then there's Lorenzo, the Triceratop. Uh, what else does he... He, she... Likes Chun-Li. <laughs> Video games and eating Chun-Li. Just likes Ken Ryu stuff. Sound of music. I like to shoot at the screen. Boxing, girls, fast car. Hmm. And then we have Reese. The one we're going to be playing because he's my favorite. Because he look, he's a Stegosaurus with an eye patch. And he just looks badass. So that's the one I'm going to be picking. And he was also the first one I played as well. What does he like? Favorite movie? It's Terminator, Terminator 2, Terminator 3. He's Hulk. Oh, God. <laughs> Terminator 3 sucks, man. Weakness, itchy trigger finger. Hmm, kind of like me. Or at least what we'll be doing in this game. Unfortunately, the bad news is because since I have a... Uh, oh, what the hell's up on the screen? The bad news is since I have a... Um, the At Game of Genesis, the music doesn't play the way it should have been playing. Close, but no, but not quite. Alright. So this is going to be the entirety of the game. Oh, jeez. Alright, we did it. We did it. We beat the game. Tom Mason's Dinosaur Pirate, quickest LP ever. Speedrunner, uh, strats and all that, developed by the... Hey, what's going on? Uh... Whoa! Slight problem with your Genesis Synthesis is Blast Processing Unit. Psych! Anyways, the real game starts here. Good luck. You'll need it. Push start. Yeah, so that was basically a psych out. Pretty much. Although that could have been the... Uh, shortest LP ever. And even then. Oh yeah, we get attacked by ninjas. A certain ninja, um, that we get attacked by many ninjas. So I'm sure that certain ninjas, especially the mini ninjas, might be a little curious about this. You don't play as a ninja, though. So when you gotta deal with ninjas, just, just give a hulking dinos dinosaur. We've got a close attack, which we would probably want to use, especially if the enemy gets close because our gun reaches out a little, quite a few distance away from us, preventing us from shooting enemies up close. I mean, they are guns that are meant to be shot at people from a long distance away. And we also want power-ups too, oh geez. Oh yeah, we can't shoot downwards, just, just, oh okay. Well, the upgrades are pretty simple, this is, this is, this is all we're gonna get. Ah, if only there was a way to, like, have a fixed aim going around. Like in Gunstar Hero, where, uh, ninjas on on hang gliders. I mean, they hang glided on kites. But anyways, if only there was, like, um, that option in Gunstar Hero, where you have fixed, uh, fixed aim, and then you've got the uh, aim where you can move around and shoot. Dinosaurs are always up for fast food. Gotta be quick. But anyways, yeah, this game was really cool to me as a kid. It was just like, you know, I just love shooting things. Well, what kid didn't? And here's the boss, or for now. 
Oh, that only just has ninjas. Nin ninjas always win. Not when you have dinosaurs. Dinosaurs for hire. Subway part A, get ready. Oh, when I said first boss, I meant kind of first area of the boss. And now we got these skater dudes being pricks. And then we got the power going out. By the way, these power-ups run out as well. That Those cars are annoying, so got to have to be careful. And giant cockroach. Giant cockroaches. What's, what's up with the game? You know what, I'm actually not too sure of the plot in this game. I just I just enjoy shooting things and being good at it. Yeah, good luck to have getting no hits here. Every time you break every time those things fall down, there's always a power up somewhere. Oh, I can't jump up there because the pillar's in the way. Oh, huh, that's helpful. Thankfully there's no pits. And my shots have big balls of steel. Mmm, tasty food. Tasty. Actually, those are really fat food. That, those fast food is probably pretty fat. Oh, that was probably fat. Or fast. Fast food. That's really fat food. But hey, dinosaurs for hire burn a lot of calories, so it's probably okay. It's okay. Hey, one up. Subway B part. Eat fresh. Eat fresh bullets. Okay, so there. This is as far as I played when I uh, got the game, just to test it out. So, yeah, I, I know what happens. I know what happens later on, or in what levels are later. But I haven't exactly played it past this point on the cartridge, anyways. I did play a bit of it. I did play up to the first actual boss on emulators to just to, for, to grab some footage. But now we have a have a legit copy here that. Oh yes, I would like to thank uh, Ultra J Man for. Uh, for helping me find out what the title of this game is. And Blonde Gay Gamer for finding it an enemy north for me. It's for 20 bucks and I was willing to pay that. That was a good price. That also came with the box too, so that's kind of cool. Well, the one sec, the one time I decided not to shoot anything, it's like, oh, cars come out, they continuously respawn. Ugh. You gotta dodge before it even appears on screen, which is really... It's kind of annoying. By the way, you don't want to fall too far in this game or else you take damage, and if you take enough damage from the fall, you die. Mm, for a heavy dinosaur, sure could jump high. Actually, Reese also looks like a Godzilla. Oh. Uh, dun, 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 dun. This sounds like the uh, Mario. The Mario Bros. Uh, 3 bonus music. Ooh, shield. This will keep us safe. For now. Yeah, tail whip it. Gonna whip some tail. And shoot some turrets. Oh, out of shield. Okay, I'm gonna try and be careful not to fall off, because if you fall off, you gotta... Well, other than dying, you also have to go through the entire part of this again, and I really don't want to edit. Uh, the whole point of an LP, to me, is to be simple and just play a game. Oh yeah, we also have bombs, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay, there's a ladder. We also have bombs, by the way, but it requires a certain button combination to use it. By the way, we would have died if we jumped down from there, so that's why I didn't do it. Subway mid-boss, get ready. Jump up, up. This boss should be. Oh, he has flamethrowers in his ass. He has flamethrowers in his ass. Just a note. But only when he comes from the right side, so I'm gonna get over here. Never actually used the bombs, and I don't think I really needed that health. I forget what the button combination was. It was... It was like jump and attack, or jump and shoot to use the bombs. Which you don't really need, and sometimes in in most of the boss fight, you can't even use smart bombs. Empire State Building. How much time are we going on? Yeah, we can do a little more. Jump up here. 
By the way, when you jump, you shift a little bit to to the back. So be very careful, or else you'll end up at a, like a certain Ultra J man who lost all the power ups. But with full power ups, this part is pretty simple. So basically, the gist of this is don't suck, kind of like in Silver Surfer. As long as you don't suck in the early game, in the early parts of the game, or whichever level you pick, and you get all the power ups, you should be okay for the entire game. But unlike Silver Surfer, we have a rapid fire button. And I'm not going to compare this game to Silver Surfer. This game is better than Silver Surfer, but Silver Surfer was not that bad of a game. Everyone that says it's bad just sucks at video games. I mean, it's like if you mash buttons at a fighting game. It's like, and you said the game sucks because of that. That's not really a fair analysis or review of it. Yes, I'm calling James Rolfe's review of Silver Surfer shit. What are you going to do about it? He sucks at the game and he whines about it. That, that's pretty much all it is. Alright, boss. I guess we'll end the video here. Hope you enjoyed that little ride up here. Next time, fly. It's faster. Alas, the terrible beast known as, only as Mega Minotaur, hoist to his buds, has taken control of the cable TV receiver on top of the Empire State Building. Millions of subscribers are really peeved. Man, only, if only I had a million subscribers. Try knocking off his hands before you go for the head, for some reason. Good luck! Yeah, we fight a Minotaur here, and I can't see. Oh, and our health bar goes away, by the way. Okay, we can't, we can't shoot his arm until uh, he flings his little dongle. Okay, so he does aim for me. Well, lagged a little bit there. I had to go up. He doesn't really do anything. He's like the King Kong Minotaur. And it's not doing that noise where he shoots the laser at you. That's interesting. Because when I was watching Ultra J-Man's LP, he... Uh, oh. Oh. He, uh... That sound kept happening. Or was it because I'm shooting him? Well, that was easy. All thanks to... Not sucking at video games. Yeah, you suck that those abs in Reese. He's kind of, I'm kind of built like him too. I gotta like suck in my abs, or suck in my stomach to show my abs. Oh, we still have a little bit of time, so a little taste of what's to come. This game isn't very, isn't that long either. Oh, spiders! Don't punch them, shoot them. We got mummies, and oh, geez, look at my health. Look at what has happened to my health. That was what happened during the boss fight. Oh, please be. Oh, jeez. I need health! I need health! Health and health! Be careful. Oh. I mean, for the most part, you probably won't really hear the music because you're always shooting stuff. I mean, when are you never shooting stuff in this, oh, geez, in this game? By the way, there's also no checkpoints in this game, so not dying is very, very crucial. Man, I didn't think spiders were that dangerous to dinosaurs. Maybe they're all arachnophobic. Oh! Oh, that would have been deadly. Oh, you son of a bee. I knew, I knew it. I was like, there's no way you could really make that jump. You can. Oh. But not really. Alright, die, you, you thing. Oh. Oh, that was... Oh! That was not... That was not something I'd want. Okay, I know there's health in this level. I know there's health in this, health in this level. And I apparently missed a power-up. Here's the health! Oh, yeah! There was food up there, and if you didn't do it fast enough, you wouldn't have gotten it. Have not played the two-player portion of this. I imagine it'd be a little trickier. That, and you play it on the same screen. Because it doesn't seem like it's the whole taking turns kind of deal. Ow! Uh, hmm. I think we have to go back, and there'd be a platform. I can't look up. Or do I have to make the jump? Oh, okay. 
That just didn't seem very safe. Well, we can't let good food go to, or fast food go to waste. Okay, I thought that platform was gonna kill us. Hoover Dam! I'm gonna stop the game right there and come back for the next part. So, stay tuned for more. This is WizWorld 100. You're the viewers, and I'm the Let's Player. And be sure to check out my review channel, LazyWorks Creation, on YouTube. So, with that said, see ya!